so welcome to the introductory henna workshop. My name is Uma and I am the founder of Fresh Ink Mehendi. So henna art is usually done for weddings, especially for the brides and the guests. And it's also done during the festival like Deepavali, Hari Raya. It's part of a celebration. It's like everyone needs to get henna done, especially for the ladies. Uh, they get really happy and excited to do henna. So I have done almost 300 over bridal henna for brides and 2500 plus guest henna for guests for events uh, all around Malaysia, Singapore and Indonesia. Not only that, I also conduct online henna workshops, intermediate courses and so on for those who are interested to become a henna artist. So that's why I'm here to teach you one step-by-step -step basic henna design. Shall we get started? It's not so difficult to do henna. All you need to know is to get the right things and the right techniques. So once you know this, it will be easier for you to practice to do a nice and neat henna design. So to get started, you need to prepare three things. One is A4 paper, natural henna cones and tissue papers. Uh, where to find natural henna cones? Basically, you can only get this from a professional henna artist. Uh, you can find them on Instagram or Facebook. Or you can also DM to me at Fresh Ink Mahendi. I can uh, let you know how I can deliver the henna cones to you. So first you need to have the natural henna cone and some tissue papers with you. So for those who don't know about the natural henna cones, uh, I will explain a bit about the types of henna we have towards the end of the video. So in this video, I will be using the acrylic hand. If you don't have acrylic hand, it's okay. You can practice using A4 paper. So before we get started, we need to know how to hold a proper henna cone. So place your hands as the picture above. Next, put the henna cone in between your index finger and your thumb. Make sure the cone that you're holding is as the picture above. Observe the picture properly and that's how you have to hold the henna cone. The blue box is basically the pressure point. You will be using that area to squeeze the henna from the cone. The first step, we are going to draw a border design. To draw a border design, you need to draw two lines. To get a nice neat lines, you need to lift up the henna cone and squeeze the henna and pull it all over until the end. Next is called the scallop design. This is a very common design for henna art. You just need to watch the video and draw until the end of the line. Do as slow as you can so that you can achieve a very nice scallop design. The next design is like a petal design. You need to draw this continuously until the end of the scallop. So there must be a difference between the little tiny scallop and the petal so that we can see the difference. So this design is usually placed at the wrist of your hands and we call this as the border design. So next I'm going to show you how to draw a simple design for the fingers. So for this design you need to draw four small lines from up to down in sequence. Make sure that the lines are closer to each other so that it will give a very nice neat design. And then squeeze the henna a little bit and make a thick line in between the two lines in the middle. Draw the scallop design at the top and below. And then make a half circle and again draw the scallop design around the circle. You can place a dot in the middle of the circle. After that, you can squeeze the henna again and make from big dots to small. And around the scallop as well. So here's a sample on how it looks like on a finger. So just now we have completed how to draw the border design which usually will be drawn on the wrist and the finger design. Now we are going to go to the main design which is a mandala design which usually will be placed 
on the palm or at the back of the palm. So now sketch the shape. Don't have to press too much, but you need to squeeze the dot in the middle as much as you can. And then you need to draw three circles. When you're drawing a circle, please don't go in one direction. You can draw half on the left and another half on the right. Make sure that the circles are not too far away from each other. If you like to get a nice intricate mandala design, you need to place extra circles to achieve a neat design. So followed by the same scallop design, this time we are going to go around the circle and also do not go in one direction. This is to make sure that we can get a very nice round circle. Draw as low as you can and focus on completing the design. So we are coming to the end. It's the same design that we did previously. It's the same petal that we draw just now. But this time it's going to go in a circle. And the petals do not go in the same direction. You can start anywhere you want. You can do like three petals at the top. And then you can go down and then do like a few petals. And then combine it. Now we are going to complete this design and then followed by another circle. So draw a very nice circle at the tip of the petal and you need to squeeze the henna cone after this and make the line thicker. Go around the circle as slow as you can. Squeeze it as you are drawing. Perfect. So now we are going to draw another line. This is going to be a thin line around the mandala design. So we can have a nice contrast in between the thick line and the thin line. So the design will look very nice. At the end of the session, you will see it. So when you're drawing any lines or circle, try to lift up the cone a little bit. So now we are doing the finishing part and it's the same design, which is the scallop design. So do as slow as you can and do not go in one direction or do not do it one shot. That will spoil the design. So you can start from the top and then you can do it below and then you can combine it. So the last touch is to add the dots. Even adding the dots is very important. You need to do a nice thick and fluffy dots. So here's a sample on how to add the dots. That's it. And here I'm showing you how to add the dots around the scallop. It's not too far away from each other. You need to squeeze as much as you can so you can get nice fluffy dots. This will give a very beautiful design, beautiful mandala design. So this is the sample of one complete design. We covered the border, the finger design and the mandala design. So you can try this at home. It's very, very simple, just a repetition of design and it's very easy to do as well. So in this video, we use the natural henna, which is safe on skin. The scientific name for natural henna is Lausonia inamate. 
It's a leaf which can stain on skin and other materials as well. It was used for medical purpose and slowly turned into body adamant because it can actually stain on skin. The color is usually will turn from orange to dark brown within 24 hours to 48 hours later. There's also another type of henna which can be found easily in the market, which is the instant henna, also known as the chemical henna. We highly recommend not to use this henna because it might cause skin allergies. We're not sure what exactly they use inside this henna. And some instant henna contains PPD, which can cause allergies to skin reaction. To know whether if you're using the instant henna or the natural henna, Usually the instant henna stains instantly and most of the time it will fade off quickly. So I hope that the video was helpful for you to learn step by step basic henna design. If you like to learn more and know more about henna or if you like to uh, get henna services, you can contact me at Freshing Mehendi. We do many events and also we teach henna classes as well uh, through online. Would like to also thank Chandana for the opportunity. Thank you so much. All the best to all of you who are watching this video. I hope that you will find your passion and turn that as a career as well. Thank you.